This is the GT2 electric scooter. Today we're taking a sponsored look at the build and capabilities, and I'm actually quite glad because after making electric bicycle videos for so long, I had forgotten how much fun an off-road scooter can be. Yes indeed, let's jump in. The Izin Wheel GT2 is made with off-road in mind. It's common for scooters to be built for the urban center, you know, the last mile to get back to an apartment building, and that's fine. But here, we've got a bounding beast ready to get dirty. Check out this dual suspension. It's not a little spring built into the deck. It's a full set of dampers, both front and back, that can spear these chubby tires straight into trouble. They make short work of speed bumps and rolling off a curb, but here on the trail, it's just a ton of fun. It also offers a great deal of control when bounding around. The GT2 kept up with pretty much everything that was asked of it, and even had some more to give past that. The 800 watt rear hub motor could really throw down, and so long as I kept traction on the back, this little guy plowed through. It's not in the same realm as a full-size bicycle, of course, but for a folding scooter, this was really cool. The folding aspect actually held some surprises as well. Now the GT2 doesn't just click into position, that would be for weaklings. No, the stem rocks back up and has a tightening clamp that has to be manually dialed in for strength. Likewise, the handlebar pivot and screw in each individually, giving you really strong and supported steering right where it matters most. Now, if this sounds inconvenient to you, then I think you're in the wrong market. This is an off-road scooter. Now, the majority of steering is done with leaning, and thanks to the 11-inch tires, there was plenty of tread and grip for tighter-than-average turning capabilities. Coming to a stop was actually pretty easy, too, because it has just mechanical disc brakes for front and rear, but also the electronic brakes come into play, and it was really easy and predictable. I knew exactly when I was going to stop. This is a really interesting mix for a vehicle that is both ultra convenient to live with when you have arrived at work or home, and also super capable when it's out in use in the great outdoors. With a bit of extra time, I can tell that the experienced rider could find that sweet spot of speed and balance and really stretch the limits of what a scooter is expected to do. Or in other words, the GT2 is more capable than I am on camera. Now, taking a look at the road applications, the GT2 is still a heavy hitter. With a maximum speed of 28 miles an hour, the 800 watt motor really came in handy. And with cruise control, those long jaunts on a mile long stretch without any stops, that was easy. Now, with a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, is in wheel, it actually conservatively states that this can go up to 28 miles of range. And with a soft suspension and steady steering, that 28 miles should be really easy on the road. The GT2 also has a full set of LED lights. Here is the front headlight, which is nice and bright and well-mounted for a good visibility. On the back, you've got a simple set of rear lights and rudimentary turn signals. The deck itself lights up with a blue accent lighting, which I think will probably do the most for being seen by cars. It's pretty neat, and the display itself is super clear and easy to read. This shows three different assist levels along with your battery, speed, and other metrics that you might want to count. The scooter also includes this water-resistant bag which goes on the front of the stem. It's actually quite handy. And also on the back of the stem towards the rider, there's this handle that can carry a bag or it doubles as a latch for carrying the scooter away. This is really nice. Now all in all, the GT2 is a ton of fun. Whether jousting through the streets or bouncing around through the trails, is in wheel has made a wonderfully capable scooter that prevails in the most common terrain. Big thanks to is in wheel for sponsoring Electric on YouTube. You can check the links in the description below to shop for your very own electric scooter from is in wheel.